Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with an explosive update as it concerns John Cena and a heel turn. John Cena turning into that bad guy. The vengeance, the frustration, the animosity, the violent Cena coming out, the rage. Well, for years now, as we all know, this has been a hot topic among, among the IWC and the WWE universe and professional wrestling fans in general. When will Cena turn heel? How will it happen? What will Cena do? Well, Super Training Gym in Sacramento posted the video of John Cena bench pressing with, with Mark Bell. During the video, Cena was asked about turning heel, and Cena, not Cena noted that it's not happening. Uh, it will never happen, Cena said. Oh, I've got it in me for sure. I do what they tell me, boss. Cena proceeded to make a trading places $1 bet with Bell that he would never turn heel. So I, that, I guess that just pretty much sums it up. Or or is there more to this than meets the eye? Is Cena trying to throw us off? Is he throwing us a curveball? John Cena never turning heel. He's been heel one time in his illustrious WWE career. The fans have been asking for it. They've been demanding it. John Cena has even teased turning heel but after John Cena just went on record saying that it will never happen pretty much closes all the debate and all the skeptics and all the critics and all the questions are not whether John Cena will turn heel it would be detrimental to his career it would be a bad business decision you got to consider a lot of things into this equation with John Cena turning heel and the fact that the WWE hasn't built up another superstar that is on the level of John Cena and I guess you know as much as I would like to see it personally it just doesn't make sense it's not in the cards and Vince McMahon is probably heavily against that but you know John Cena made it very clear in this what he was saying he said I just do what they tell me so when John Cena says that he only does what they tell him he ain't going out there and saying, well, I'm going to beat Barry, I'm gonna beat Bray Wyatt tonight. I'm going to beat The Rock tonight. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to bury this superstar. I'm going to bury that superstar. I'm going to uh, kill the momentum of Ryback. I'm going to kill off the momentum of The Miz. Uh, you know, it's it's just a bunch of hearsay. So you're not in the business. You don't know how it works. Oh, John Cena, you know, he does the politic game. You know, John Cena does the backstage politics. You know, he has, he has so much, uh, you know, he has the ability to be able to say who he's going to beat and who he ain't going to beat. He has all this pull. He has all this leverage. Listen, you can think about what you want. You can say what you want about John Cena, but he's going in there. He's giving his best. He's busting his ass, and he's doing more than any other WWE superstar on that roster, past, present, future. It doesn't matter. John Cena's remained and stand the test of time to be the number one guy. John Cena realizes that when it's all said and done, there will be a time where he won't be the number one guy, and it'll be time to move on. So John Cena right now is taking his chance and being that number one guy, being that top guy. And although right now he's not the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock Lesnar is John Cena has a chance to get back the championship that he lost in convincing fashion at SummerSlam. So this this little uh, verbiage by Cena it really you know opened my eyes to a lot of things. Subscribe.